Hello and welcome back to Planet Coaster and we are in the Valley Resort. Yes, it is bland, there is nothing there, but do not panic because we are going to build our very first theme park on this channel together. And I am so excited, I really am. I've gone with a tropical map because I just think the colours are really nice, the temperature's great. And we're also going to go with unlimited money as well, just to make that game slightly easier to put my creativity to the test. Now, I'm not going to bore you to death with building the entrance and things like that because I think that's absolutely rubbish. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do a quick little snippet of what I'm doing and then we will just go from there. Okay guys, so hang tight to Clickety Clacks, I'll be back now. 15 minutes later. And there we have it, we have our entrance to our Valley Resort Park. So nothing major to be honest with you guys, it's just, you know, I've seen people do a lot better entrances than this, but... I don't know, I like it, you know, it's not too bad, <laughs> it's not too bad, so when you first walk in, okay, you've got this lovely little building right in front of you, you've got an information booth, you can buy your tickets for your fast track ride, you've got your first aid, and you've also got Hats Fantastic, so I normally find in a lot of theme parks that when you enter the theme park straight away, the souvenir shop is normally as you enter, because then it's there as you leave as well, so that's just my thought process behind that. Um, with these entrances as well, obviously I've done these cute little pri uh, sorry, pirate entrance themes. These are just a blueprint of the original vanilla game. I didn't create these myself. But what I did do is I covered these awful Planko blooming entrance gates with, with barrels. And um, they look a little bit better. You know, they do look a little bit better. Um, along by here as well, I've done some little pirate themed uh, little event sort of thing where they're blowing the can. I'll just click place, you can see it. There we go. <laughs> Blow away. I didn't realise that this gun is actually going towards the building. Yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't take that into account. I really didn't. On the other side as well, we got another entrance. Really, the same sort of same sort of thing with the barrels. Um, I really do not like them. Sort of Planko entrance seems they look really horrible and nasty to be honest with you. And then all around it, I've just scattered some nice little vegetation, you know, some trees and bushes that really matches and goes well with the current theme of the, of the entire place. So yeah, I think it looks really nice. I love what I've done with these bushes as well, where I've sort of um, put these two together. They're really, really nice. I really like them. Really super nice. But yeah, so they do that. They go through the entrance and then they cross over this bridge. This bridge is obviously wheelchair friendly, because this is a wheelchair friendly park. Um, so yeah, so and then when they come down, don't get me wrong, they'll, they'll be going a bit fast for there, but... <laughs> bit of downtime. <laughs> but yeah, this is the entrance, so yeah, pretty happy with this. So first things first with this park, what I'm going to do, okay, I'm going to build so, a couple buildings by here, um, because this is going to be sort of like the, like, the ma like the main area where you can get food and things like that. And then right behind it, we're also going to build our very first ride over here. So lots to look forward to in this episode. Um, I was going to record, obviously, me doing this, but no one wants to see that, I don't think. It's, you know, <laughs> just just get the entrance done and get over with it and just let's just start building with the park. So that's what I say, okay? So yeah, let's start building this area by here and let's get to it. Right, so let's talk Planet Coaster, okay? Now this game is phenomenal. I mean, the the detail that you can go to, the extent on all the controls within the game, is just absolutely incredible. And some of the stuff you see online with this game is truly remarkable, and it absolutely inspires me to play this game. And the Planko community seems absolutely amazing. Um, some of the stuff that I've seen already is just absolutely breathtaking where you see other creators encourage other creators to build more and more. And let me tell you now, guys, okay, when it comes to Planet Coaster, I am not a professional. I am far from a professional. I am the most noobiest of the noob you will ever meet in your entire life. But do you know what? I love this game. I used to play it a lot when I was younger. Well, not so much Planet Coaster, but Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, even the first one as well. My God, I was in there, mate. Honestly, I'm telling you now, it was it was incredible. Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. All I remember, me personally, is just creating these huge, massive pools. I mean, they were huge, massive wave uh, sorry wave chambers. And half of my guests would be in the swimming pool. It was... It, <laughs> just thinking about it now. It just brings so much memories back. 
So this game is so inspiring for that. I mean, it really does put your creativity to, to the test. Um, just what you can build in this game is absolutely amazing. Hopefully this park will do the game some justice. The inspiration wise for this park is a pirate based theme. I'm um, sort of like Pirates in the Caribbean, you could almost say. Um, inspiration when it comes to build wise, I am just going to be building off the top of my head. There's no, you know, there's no like going online and getting stuff. I am literally going to build what's in my head and that is going to be it. And you will see in a couple of minutes that I, for some reason, when it comes to building these buildings, I just constantly change my mind, which is literally what I'm about to do right now. I'm removing all these beams because I'm like, oh my god, the wooden beams look terrible. But yes, <laughs> I remove them and I replace them with this beautiful little red brickwork. And I think the brickwork goes really well with the sort of colour and the, and the texture of the walls that I've built for this building. Now this building is going to contain two toilets, all right, on either side of the complex. And it's also going to contain uh, two drink stores in the middle. It's going to contain Cosmic Cows and Gulpery Energy. Um, just them two are just nice and easy to build, nothing major, you know, just easy as pie. Guys, take a note of the building, well, the white building to the left, because that is not going to be there in a couple of minutes. I literally just had like a brainwave and I was like, oh my god, I'm not going to use this white building. Not a chance. <laughs> So right now I'm putting in these really gorgeous windows. I mean, I love these sort of windows when you've got like obviously the wooden doors that you can open to look out of the windows. I think they're so special, they're beautiful. They make the buildings look really beautiful. Just great in this game, man. Just look, they look, look at them. And here I go, change my mind once again. I'm changing the, the brickwork from red to white. I do this with the entire building because I just think the white brickwork just looks a little bit better and it also goes really well with the new building that I'm going to build to the left which is going to be a really smooth concrete textured building with some wooden pillars and beams and things like that you'll see in a minute it looks really good but let's uh let's focus on the build for a minute all right let's turn that lovely beautiful Planko theme music back up a little bit and let's enjoy the build So let's talk about the Valley Resort. So guys, this is going to be a new Planet Coaster series done by myself, Valley's Plays. And I'm hoping to be obviously releasing a video once every week. Um, I'm hoping for it to be at least a 10 episode series or mini series, depending on how well the series goes. Um, where I'm just going to build this, hopefully this great looking mini park. Now... What I find with Planet Coaster is, especially with a lot of a lot of my previous builds and personal experience, is sometimes I've gone for go big or go home. And I've literally built it for two or three hours and I'm like, oh my god, this project is so big, I can't do it. <laughs> so this time around, I'm taking a different approach to it. I'm going to build a mini park. Uh, it's probably going to have you know, maybe 10 rides at best and maybe two coasters, maybe three at a push. We don't know yet. Um, so yeah, it's not going to be a huge park, but the detail on this is going to be, hopefully, uh, to something that's very good. I'm praying, fingers crossed that you guys think the same, and honestly, I am absolutely encouraging you guys to comment down below what you think. Any suggestions that you guys want to chuck my way, honestly, I am willing to take it into consideration. And also, I'm going to be doing something every week where once you have watched the episode and you like what it is, whatever ride that I've built, you have the you have the choice to name that ride and i will name my favorite name for that ride all right i'm really looking forward to seeing what people comment you know name wise for the rides i'm really looking forward to it 
But in regards to my build right now, so this build by here is going to contain two food stores. So it's going to contain chief beef and it's going to create, and it's create, what am I, come on Valley, what do you want about you Welsh, <laughs> you Welsh lads? <laughs> it's not, it's, so I'm going to be having chief beef and I'm going to be having the hot dog squads as well with some benches that are going to go in. Now the inside of this building, I'm not going to lie to you, it's not going to contain very much, uh, well it's not going to contain a lot of detailing to be honest with you. Um, because the inside of this, I am actually want it to be sort of bland and basic. It's kind of like the thing where you're like, right, okay, let's not give it too much detail and to give it that touch. Because sometimes you can honestly get away with not detailing, not detailing everything too much. You know, sometimes you can just get away with the most absolute minimum. But that'll be the insides. What you're seeing right now is the outside. And yes, I know what you're going to say, Valley, you are building in pillars way too low. Well, don't worry, because a bit later on, I see my mistake <laughs> and I do sort it out. I promise you that, okay? But yeah, these wooden these wooden archways around the building I think look really, really nice, especially with the smooth concrete texture. It looks absolutely beautiful. And yeah, see, look, I get rid of the concrete ones. I changed my mind already. Now, right, right now, I'm putting these interior lights in. These are so bright, honestly, in the nighttime. They're crazy. They, they literally light up everything. It is crazy. And plus, I think they look really good as well. Now, these two buildings are looking fabulous so far. They really are. But with this building, I'm going to be changing the windows slightly. Now, you will notice in a second, I am going to change some of these windows up because I really like the fact that you can actually add in closed windows, which you will see in a minute. Here we are. So I'm pulling one in now. There we go. Look at that. So I decided, I changed my mind again. I scatter these around the building and they look phenomenal. I really like the effect of some closed and some open windows, it looks beautiful. Now, you can see me right now putting in these drinks. I already said before, it's gonna be a Cosmic Cow and a Gulpery. And so far, it's looking good, it's looking nice. So again, let's crank up that Planko theme music back up and let's keep on enjoying the build. This part by here, I actually decided to create like a little sitting area right in the middle of the sort of like the central area of when you come over the bridge. And I'm going to build a nice big sitting area for people to sit down, enjoy their lunch under some nice hot weather, you know, under the umbrella sort of thing. It's actually pretty cute. Oh, I have plenty of benches, plenty of umbrellas, you know the drill, plenty of seating for our beautiful customers of the Valley Resort.
See, look, very basic detailing, but it's nice. It, it works, all right? It works. So please stop shouting through your screen, okay? <laughs> See, I told you I would correct it. I looked at it and was like, wow, this is wrong. So I corrected it. Don't panic. Valley's on it. Yes, I know what you are thinking. You are thinking, wow, Valley, this is looking bland. There's not a lot of detailing. And yes, do you know what? I agree with you. I really do. So this is why I'm going to sort something out about it, alright? So give me some time, okay? I am going to do it. Now, I'm going to remove these parts because I think the actual main entrance sort of thing is actually way, 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 way too wide. So I'm going to get rid of about three rows, I think. Yeah, three rows should do it. I mean, for what I want to plan anyway, it should be fine. I mean, that, that path is wide enough anyway. Now, the next plan is, I'm actually going to build the park's first ride right behind these buildings by here. And then I'm going to surround it in some nice trees and vegetation, make it look really nice. Do a little bit of land, um, obviously, colouring as well with some of the sand around the ride. So, yeah, I really look forward to showing you. So, guys, sit back and enjoy the ride because this ride's a good one.
And there we have it. We got a nice little entrance area. It's not fully done. I will be honest with you. So stop screaming behind your desktop, okay? I know you were looking at this and being like, Valley, this can't be completed. Well, it's completed for episode one, okay? <laughs> right, let's just go through a couple things that I've done. All right, so to start with this little food area, okay? Nothing major, just some benches with some fancy umbrellas. Cordoned off by the fence. Really nice with some lamps in between. Really, really good. I like that. And then in by here, then you've got like a little food court. You hungry, guys? Are you hungry? I am. I am. Are you hungry? <laughs> we got a nice little sort of fake pretend little pirate market store by here, you know, with some some juicy, juicy bananas and watermelons. Look at them. I would mind them in my fridge, boy. And then you got a nice little food area by here. Now, I know you're thinking again, you're thinking Valley, this is very plain. I've deliberately done it like that because the smooth concrete, I just... You know, it kind of gives you a different feel, you know, as if there needs to be more work done. I can't explain my feeling behind it, but that's, yeah, just sometimes there's nothing wrong with just doing some basic detailing. There's nothing wrong with this, so don't panic, okay? You don't have to detail everything according to plan, um, but I do like it. It is a nice little sitting area, okay? Yeah, it is very basic and very bland, I do know, okay? I do know that. So stop yelling at me. Goodness me, guys. So we've got this nice big building by here. Um, what I'm gonna do with it? I do, ooh, look at this. This is a bit of a, it's a bit of a problem. Look at that. When you zoom in, and then when you zoom out, <laughs> just it's fine. I can live with that. So we got some nice little drink stores by here. We got Cosmic Cow, and I've also got. I'm sure it's Gulp. Gulpy, yeah, it's Gulpy. I should have just done that. With some toilet either side as well. I was gonna do like male and female sort of thing, but I just thought it's fine the way it is. I really like the way I've done like this sort of central island as well. Just gives it a nice little little different feel. I know I've got nothing in between it, but it doesn't matter, okay? It does not matter. And then, of course, then you've got these nice little doors as well for the staff to enter the building in, which I think is really good. So I just think this area in general has turned out really well. It's really nice. I mean, this wooden floor gives it a really like Arr! feel, you know? Arr! <laughs> And then I got a nice little pirate camp in sight by here. Really nice. Look at them. The little campfire. Keep it nice and warm there. Even though it's probably about a million degrees as it is, you know, a tropical theme map. A nice little pirate by here. Oh, I just leaning against the wall by there. Just mind his own business. Probably a little snake in there. Mate, you want to be careful about that. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then obviously when you go around the path by here. Oh, I know we don't have a staff building. It's fine. I can build one next time. It's fine. And then we got our first ride. We've got a pirate ship. So, guys, down below in the comments, what should we call this pirate ship? Right now, it's called Victory One. I want to give it a different name for obvious reasons. Because I want to engage with you guys. I want you to give me some feedback on what you think of these builds. And I want to name this ride after someone who's going to comment down below. So, guys, comment down below what you think it should be called. Make sure you say, I think the pirate ship should be called dot dot dot. And then say you, what you want to call it. And then, yeah, I will I will choose the best one, all right? But this ride, okay, again, you know, some minor little detailing, okay? I could have done some more bits, but, like, normally I sort of raise these on the ground a little bit, and then I'd surround it in wood and things like that. But do you know what? I thought I'll get the terrain tool out, okay? And I'll just put, like, loads of sand around the area and just make it, just make it, like, sort of like a beachy feel. And we're probably going to do something along the lines of this area in the next episode to kind of coerce with this area. Um, I haven't thought about what I want to do with that yet, but it will get to it. we got a lovely little pirate campfire again by here. we got him by here standing on the rock, keeping a lookout, looking at all these lovely customers that are eventually going to get you. Alright, I tell you what, I should actually turn this on, shouldn't I? There we go. Should turn it on. Over by here, we got like a little crane on the building by here, which is gonna, you know, with all this uh, storage goods, little themed area by here. We got some by here as well. I just think this area turned out really, really nice. I really like it. And then for the piers de resistance, I surround it in some really nice veg, you know, some veg, some trees and things like that. Just to seclude it a little bit. You might have noticed I haven't done anything to the back of this building. I haven't done anything to the back of it simply because I am not going to do anything with it. All right. Um, the trees are blocking it, the majority of the buildings, so when you're a customer, you're not really going to see the back of that, you know, like, you know, as much as what you normally see it, you know. Um, but yeah, 
And then the entrance area, I've actually vamped it up a little bit. So I'll give you a quick little glimpse of what I've done. So I put some canopies under the under the shops by here. So a bit of shade, which I think is really nice. And then we've got the pre-booked entrance. And then we got the ticket office. Um, yeah, I just I just thought I'd spice it up a little bit, you know? Um, but yeah, this um this area has turned out really well so far. I'm really, I'm really liking how it looks. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about it. I would really love to hear what you think of it. And what would you do different? You know, maybe if you suggest something, I might do it and change it up a little bit. I, you know, just your boy Valley might do that for you, okay? <laughs> might do that. But yeah, guys, that is it. Alright, the, the next episode, guys, what we are going to do is by here... I am actually going to build a train station by here and start the process for our theme park train line, which is just going to go all the way over here, curl over here, go all on the water, and then it's going to interact with a ride over here somewhere, and then it's going to come back down, and then all the way back here, back to there. Okay, but obviously next episode, we're just going to build the train station and then build the train line to this area by here. Um, I'm not going to build the entire ride straight away. It's going to be a progression thing where each episode is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, so yeah, we're going to do that. And then maybe if we got time, maybe build another ride as well. Because obviously we can't just have one ride in this theme park, can we? <laughs> it's got to be more than one. But yeah, we'll probably build another ride. Um, and think about doing something with this area by here. Maybe like a sort of beachy little field to coerce with the, with a the ship. Um, I don't know yet. Maybe a nice little water ride in the water. I don't know. But we'll think of something, guys. We'll think of something. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, stay tuned for episode two, which will be out next week, probably. Or in the week, depending on how I feel, depending on how quick I get along. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have liked it, guys, let me know, let me know in the comments down below what you think about it. Anything I could do better. You know, anything you want. And obviously, if you did like it, I would appreciate uh, some honest feedback and maybe a little cheeky like. You know, it goes a long way. But same time, if you didn't like it, give it a dislike as well. Okay, I'm, I'm fine with that. Okay? <laughs> But guys, it's Valley. Have a great day. I hope you've all enjoyed what you've seen. And until next time, take care and bye!